everyone, and welcome to another cozy long play. Today we're exploring the Terralith mod and building a cozy mossy cottage. We have lots of building and exploration to do today, so let's get started. So today we're starting things off in what looks like a flower forest, but with tons of azalea trees. And of course, the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves some tools. So let's begin by punching this tree so we can make a crafting table and all of the necessary things we need to begin this Minecraft journey. All right, let's make our crafting table. And with that, let's just make a couple of basic tools. I'm not gonna make anything too crazy. I'm gonna go with an ax just in case, and of course a pickaxe. Now we are in survival mode today. However, I just wanna wait on getting better tools because of course the starting tools with wood are just absolutely horrendous. Oh my gosh, there's stone right here. Perfect. I can just do this right away. I don't even need that ax. So we're using the Terralith mod today. Now we have done a long play in this already and I liked it so much that I wanted to explore some more biomes again today. So we're gonna be doing some exploration, see what's around, what type of biomes there are. And with that, we're gonna build a cute little cottage. All right, this should be enough cobblestone. So let's put our crafting table back down here and let's just get all of our tools made. We'll get our pickaxe, axe, couple more sticks. So then we can do a sword because we are in survival mode and a shovel as well. Let's get these all organized on our toolbar. And I think we're good to go. Perfect. All right, so I guess now all we really need to do is start exploring. So some of the things we're gonna need are one, a bed, two, some food, iron, and coal. Those are usually the starting things that I worry about the most, uh, cause I mean, you need some light so mobs don't spawn. We need food, of course, so we don't starve. And we need a bed so we can sleep through the night because I find that the night can sometimes be the most dangerous part in this game. And it looks like there's coal and also iron over there, which is perfect. This biome's very like shrubby. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, here's some food over here. Oh, there we go. Oh no, not the baby pig. I feel bad. All right, I need, I need this food though. We really do need this food. I'm sorry. Also, I did just see a sheep over here, I think, although I don't want to kill it because I'd like to maybe take its wool instead. Maybe what we could do is use our first bits of iron here on some shears. This biome's really cool, though. I really like it. Also, I've noticed that within these mountains are uh, stone slabs, which one looks very cool and two, that's super useful. All right, let's begin by grabbing up some of this coal. Because in order to burn that iron, we are going to need some coal. Oh, iron right here. That is perfect. Let's grab this cluster to begin with. I feel like right off the bat, we're just getting everything we need, which is good, honestly. We're finding all the basic things we need for survival quite easily. So I'm going to make a little spot right here. And let's get a furnace going. And let's smelt some of this iron. And while we're doing that, I'm going to keep an eye on this sheep. I see you, buddy. I see you. While we're doing that, I'm going to go explore a little bit more and gather up some of this iron along the way. And maybe some of the coal that we can find, too. Also, over there, I noticed is that lavender biome. We actually did end up building in that in the last long play that we did with Terralith, and it turned out really cool. It was kind of fantasy style. If you want to check it out, it is on my channel. 
Um, I'm going to be making a playlist for all of these long plays as well, so you can all easily find them. So yeah, if you haven't seen that one yet, you can definitely find it on the channel. All right, let's shear you so we can get some wool. How much did he give us? Only one. Gonna need a couple more than that. Hopefully he just eats some grass. <laughs> we won't have to worry because I don't see any more sheep around here. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna keep gathering up the resources along this mountain and hopefully by the time we're done, that guy grows back some of his wool. Unless I find another sheep around here. Let's just do a quick little, quick little survey of this area. Doesn't really seem to be many animals, except for the pigs. I mean, there's a cow over there. A couple of cows, actually. Hmm. The one lone sheep. All right, buddy, my fate is in your hands. Well, actually, it's in your wool, but... Come on, I'm rooting for ya. In the meantime, we're gonna grab this coal. This is very coal and iron rich over here. I'm actually shocked as to how much we've grabbed so far. Honestly, if I- oh! There we go, okay. Please, two pieces. Three! Amazing. Okay, we can make our bed. So that's knocked off the list. Got a, we got a place to sleep tonight. And my little area is up here. Perfect. Oh, there's some more iron that I had missed. Nice. Let's make ourselves our very first bed, courtesy of this sheep. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll grab this iron. Put down this bed. And you know what? Instead of burning all this stuff, I'll let this run through. I'm going to cook up some of this food too, because we're, we're going to need it uh, probably very soon. All right, let's, let's swap this out really quickly. Maybe toss in a little bit more coal, and then we're good to go. All right, we can't sleep yet, so I'm just going to climb up this mountain real quick, see if there's anything I can access quickly. I find that I'm always so impatient to sleep in this game, and then I'm like, you know what, I'll go off and do something and try to be productive. But then by the time I'm up here, it's like, oh, the sun's setting. So <laughs> that didn't really work out. So then I just have to go back down over to my bed. The joys of being impatient in this game, honestly. All right, let's go to sleep. And we should be good to go for the next morning. We'll grab some food. And I think what I'm going to do maybe is let's just kind of hang out along here for a little bit and gather up some of these resources. And then I'd like to go and start exploring things. Just climb up over here because I saw a bunch of coal. We might have to end up scaffolding, honestly. Oh, there's the coal right there. Perfect. Only one piece, though. But we got some iron in the process as well. Honestly, I'm not too worried about getting every single piece along this mountainside because, of course, we're probably going to be exploring some caves and stuff. So we'll, we'll find other things along the way. I just want to get a little bit of a supply going before we adventure on. There is a little bit up there, but it is pretty high. So maybe maybe the best thing to do is just call it quits with this and see what else is around here. We've got our basic needs for survival met, so I think we're good. Gonna grab all of this stuff, and in the process, I think I'm also gonna make an iron pick. I like having one because they're a little bit quicker, so we'll have that ready to go in our toolbar. Let's break all of this stuff, and then let's just head out and see what's around. Oh, ooh. 
Nice. Just gotta grab this one little bit and then we're good to go. Okay, perfect. So, I mean, all we really have to do is pick a direction and I think we're good. I really like this biome. I think it's, I don't know, really interesting. I like all of the shrubs and stuff. The cool thing with Terralith, if you're not familiar with this mod, is that it really just takes vanilla blocks and redistributes them um, and kind of makes new interesting looking biomes out of blocks that already exist. So they're not really adding anything to the game. They're just changing the way things form within Minecraft. So I don't think this uh, mod is necessarily as like intensive on your computers. I'd have to double check, but this one seems to run really well for me. And honestly, the biomes this mod creates are actually so stunning. We saw quite a few in our last long play, and I'm trying to find some that are a little bit different today that we could explore. And so far, yeah, this looks super, super cool. We even have an abandoned village down there. We're definitely going to have to explore. Those always kind of creep me out, though. There's something about them. But I mean, there's past civilization there. I feel like we should head in that direction. After I grab this little bit of coal, of course. And then after that, <laughs> I need to stop being so distracted by materials. We need to go, we need to go look at stuff. I just can't help it. If I see coal, I collect coal, you know? Oop. Saw that one coming, which is why we have our trusty iron pick. And how am I going to get myself out of this? I'm just going to jump. All right, let's head down towards a river because it's just generally easier for us to explore if we have a river. We can make a boat. We can go see what's around. Whoa. While navigating this terrain. All right, before we do that, let's just make ourselves a boat, which I don't think I have any more wood. Just realized. This should have some, like a log in between. Yes, it does. Perfect. At least one. <laughs> and I have to chop down a couple of these. Two should be good for what we need. Now, let's just craft ourselves a trusty oak boat. And I say we're good to go. All right, let's begin exploring. I think the obvious choice would be to go over to this village first. I'm just really curious to see what's around. Also, maybe we might find some good loot in there. But it also does look a little bit creepy. So I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's take a little look. Well, there's beds, which I don't really need anymore. Would have been handy. We got some bread. Actually, this food might be good for us. I am avoiding the sweet berries, though, because no thank you. <gasps> Something happened here. Something happened, and it couldn't have been good. Brewing stand. Honestly, these look kind of cool. I'm going to take it. You know, I did hear a cat, though. There is a cat lurking about. Which, you know, I like. I very much like. I have a cat IRL, a calico. Oh, look, it's like a little tuxedo cat. So cute. So cute. Oh, there's more zombie flesh. What happened here? <laughs> Pumpkin seeds, large fern. Cool. Those are pretty rare, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. And more saplings. Don't really need these at the moment since we are surrounded by spruce. I think we're good. I'm going to grab these potatoes just in case. Emerald, not very relevant to us because, well, I don't think we're going to trade with anybody. There is a horse on the roof. What are you doing, buddy? 
Honestly, this is a pretty big village. Oh. All right, I'm just curious. What is this horse guarding? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's not really that much in here, if I'm honest. I mean, it's still cool to look around, but not anything that would be super useful for us. I was kind of hoping maybe there'd be some armor, but that is A-OK -okay because we can make our own. Should probably eat something now. This would be kind of like a cool village to restore or something, you know? I feel like that would be a really fun project. Honestly, I feel like that could be a really fun mini long play series. That way we would have like a really specific goal that we're working towards and also have a bit of an established base that we could go back to for episodes. I think that could be pretty fun. I've been having so much fun with Terralith though. After I did the first uh, long play, I was just super excited to uh, try it again because it has been super fun. <gasps> oh! Iron leggings, obsidian, iron, more iron pants. This is exactly what I wanted. Look at me. Look at me go. Amazing. All right, so we found one piece of armor. What about all this stuff? Not much. We're almost done looting the village, though. Whoa! What happened? Was it you? He's the culprit. He's flying around. He's like, wasn't me, dude. It was totally him. Totally him. Why else would he be flying around it like that, you know? Just gonna take a quick little look before everything burns down. Yeah, it definitely wasn't this lava pool. It was absolutely the bee's fault. And I refuse to believe otherwise. Bee leave. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Okay, now we're talking. What am I gonna get rid of? Let's get rid of that stone. Don't really need the gold, so I don't think I'll take it. But you know, two iron swords, that would be good. Uh, what is not valuable here? I guess the cobble and stuff I can always grab. Let's equip these and let's do this and maybe get rid of this guy. Put that away. I think we're good. Okay, so it did pay off to take a look here we found some pretty good stuff now we really only have to worry about our chest plate and our helmet uh for suiting up so we're pretty much good well i mean we did pretty good all i really need to do now is wait to go to bed because i don't want to explore during the night and stuff and then i guess maybe the next step would be kind of just to find a place to set up home ideally you know what i'm kind of digging the shrubby biome. I think it looks super cool. I haven't built in it yet. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards that, especially because we're surrounded by so much. So maybe what we can do is find a good spot. And I'd just like to build out kind of like a cute little cozy cottage. Um, I would like to maybe incorporate some like mossy stuff. If we could find a lush cave, that would be great. But we do have lots of mossy cobble and stuff. I just want to make it like super cute, super quaint and just like a cozy little cottage. When I look at this biome though, it kind of feels like super old and rustic. I, I do picture a very like mossy cabin kind of being established within something like this. So I feel like that's kind of like a good guideline for the build that we could do today. Now let's take a look over here. I'm assuming this is all shrubland as well. I mean, this area has got kind of like a nice flat clearing for us, which is good. Because the other area we were in where the flower forest was, I mean, it was nice as well. However, it was a little bit mountainous, lots of terrain and stuff. This is very flat, easy to work with. And is close by to all of the other stuff that we've explored. Doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy around here that we'd have to worry about. Honestly... I feel like this is kind of a good spot. It's just gonna take a lot of clearing. That's all it is. But, I mean, we could do that pretty easily. 
yeah, I kind of like this. It'd be a fun challenge. I don't know. I think this biome's like very unique. It it does feel very vanilla -y in some ways, but it also has like a uniqueness to it that I really like. I feel like this is a good spot right by the river too. So maybe what I can do is start chopping down some of this, except I'm going to start collecting some of these leaves too. We're going to have to go off uh, in search for wood and stuff because these trees, like, they are surrounded by leaves, of course, but there's no actual, like, logs in them. So we're definitely going to have to do some more exploring for that, but that's okay. I definitely want to try to explore some of the caves, see if there's a lush cave nearby, and just see what else is around. All right, we need a chest, first of all, because we have no space. Gonna make a couple of chests. One for supplies, one for garbage, of course. I'll make a ton of chests because guess what? I always use them for decoration. And I kind of have a habit of placing chests kind of where I'm gonna end up building. I don't know why I do that. It's literally just like bad habit. So I'm gonna place them down here. I don't think I'm gonna be building down here. And let's start putting all of the junk away or just like the stuff that aren't building materials. It's not necessarily junk, just stuff we don't need at the moment. And then we can get our furnace down. Boom. Let's organize these tools up a little bit. And oh yeah, the wool, sorry. Just constantly opening chests. Let's get the wood here. All this stuff. Obsidian, you can go away in that chest. I am not going to the nether. <laughs> you can't make me. You can't make me. All right, let's collect some of this stuff that we had dropped. I'm going to move this crafting table over so everything's confined in one area. Just like this. And... I think we're pretty much good to go. Mm, perfect. All right, let's start burning up some of this iron. And I guess maybe with that, we can start kind of shearing some of this stuff for some leaves and clearing out some of these logs as well. Don't have to shear all of them, to be honest. Even getting rid of like one or two uh, trees with shears gives you like a ton of leaves. So, although it is easier to break all of this stuff with shears, the problem is shears are also very breakable and I don't want to necessarily burn through them hello it's down here little cave Let's see if it leads anywhere oh I forgot about my coal though oh there's some iron I mean it is a dead end Mobs can definitely still spawn down here, but I mean, we got a little lucky. Nothing's here greeting us. But if we're going to be working close by to this, I probably should light it up later. Just so we don't have to uh, worry about creepers roaming up and just destroying absolutely everything. What is this tree? What kind of leaves are these? Are they acacia? Oh no, they're birch. I think because of the biome, maybe they look a little bit different? I don't know. I thought they were a little bit more desaturated than that. I like them though. Birch leaves have like a very crunchy texture to them, which I really like. They actually look very nice when you put them next to uh, azalea leaves. gonna tear out all of this stuff and then once we're done with this we'll kind of see what space we have to work with um what will work what won't There's some coarse dirt here too which is very handy okay all of this stuff is done it's not really going away though Probably because it's attached to like other little shrubs and stuff, so it's not despawning. OK, 
Okay. Well, I could either flatten this out or terraform a little bit of this. I'm more inclined to flatten it out. I mean, if I lose some of the textures, like some terracotta and stuff, I can always just replace it. I think that should be okay. Kind of just more inclined to flatten it out just because terraforming, we don't really have the dirt anyway. So I feel like this might be the easier route. Just want to make sure we have a little bit of uh, space to put down a pretty decent footprint for our build. I don't think it's going to be anything too big, but I still want to allow myself some more space around it. The pain of a stone shovel, honestly. Not fast and also breaks so, so easily. What is this? I think I'm gonna treat myself to an iron shovel next because this is just, <laughs> this is just pain. There we go. Please. Crafting table. And let's just make ourselves an iron shovel and let's toss away some of the stuff we don't need. I'm going to leave the white terracotta and the coarse dirt in our inventory because I'm going to kind of just try to put that back into the terrain afterwards. All right, that's a little bit better. this up and this is a pretty good amount of space to start with I think I might tear out a little bit more of this and a couple of uh, blocks over here on the side as well probably just get rid of this stone Perfect. And then a little bit over here, and I think we're done. I think I want to get rid of this tree, too, actually. Problem is, you have to be very careful with Terralith. Um, because if you replant an oak tree, it's not gonna like form the same way like a shrub would. It's just gonna it's just gonna grow as a regular oak tree. So that's definitely something you have to be mindful of when you're tearing uh, apart some of these unique biomes. You can take it away, but you just can't really bring it back. All right, we'll toss some of this stuff aside. And, oh, it's a little slabby slab there. Nice. I love the slabs kind of built into the terrain. It also makes, like, climbing mountains so much easier because there's natural staircases you can go up. It's awesome. Time to take you down, my friend. And let's just terraform a little bit more of this, then we should be good to go, I think. All right, I think that's enough um, space. That should be good. The last thing I'm gonna do is, um, like I said before, I'm gonna bring back some of this coarse dirt and terracotta. Just little patches here and there I think we'll do. I'm also probably gonna leave that stone. It kind of blends in with the area, so I, I kind of like it. I think it adds character to it. We are gonna have to probably bring back a ton of grass as well, but we can worry about that after.
Honestly, most of this is probably going to end up getting covered up by the house, so I'll go more so along the edges here for the coarse dirt. Shovel number two is about to break as well. Classic. And that was all of coarse dirt, so I think we're pretty much done. Can't really see it just yet because it's kind of blending in with the dirt that needs to turn into grass, but I think that is a lot better. We brought back uh, some of the texture into the ground, and I think we're good to go. Cool. All right, I mean, we have a space picked out. The problem is, well, we don't really have anything to build with at the moment because we're kind of lacking some resources. So I think the next thing that we're going to have to do is probably explore a little bit more and gather up some materials. So this area looks very, like, I would say kind of desaturated. So my idea kind of to fit in theme with this is maybe we can incorporate some blocks that look like the white terracotta. We don't necessarily have to incorporate these into our build, but maybe something like um, diorite or even calcite if we could find it. That would look super nice. We can incorporate the oak as well. Uh, maybe even some birch. I find that the uh, texture of the birch unstripped looks really good with diorite. I know it can look kind of messy, but honestly, I find that when it's uh, paired next to the right blocks, it can actually look pretty cool. And of course, I mean, if we're doing a cabin, spruce is always one of those things that works super well. And I'm sure we have tons around us. I mean, I think I see some trees over there. Oh. I also see a chimney. Huh. There's probably a village over there or something. So spruce would be nice as well. And if we can find moss today, that would look super cool. This area would look... Uh, would be perfect for like an overgrown look, especially, I mean, considering the fact that we found uh, kind of like an abandoned village over there, it would, it would kind of fit in theme with that. So that's kind of the thoughts that I'm having for our build is try to keep it in theme with this biome. So let's just put all this stuff away really quickly so we don't have to worry about it. Get ourselves a pretty fresh inventory. Ah, uh, food though. Gonna probably have to bring this bread, and I might start baking some potatoes. There we go. And last but not least, get rid of this stuff. Maybe bring some wood, because we'll probably need it. And then I think we're ready to go. Oh, actually, before we go, can't forget my bed, first of all. Very important. And also, let's just make another axe, because we might need to chop down some trees. And while we're at it, actually, let's make one more pickaxe just in case. And then I think we are good to go. Awesome. Okay. So let's get in our boat. And let's see where this river takes us. We've already explored that village over here. So we know what's over there. That building is still just kind of uh, slowly burning down. But I'm not too sure what's like beyond this way because we came from over here that's the mountaintop we were at before and we have yet to explore this area looks kind of like we're in like a vanilla forest right now so there is still vanilla biome sprinkled within Terralith. Not everything is uh, all modded, which is kind of nice. Honestly, I don't mind that. I think everything blends together really nicely, but you will run into like some of the classic biomes too. Looks like we've got like a snowy taiga over here as well. What is this? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, thought that was maybe a cave. No luck. Got some snowy taiga. I mean, honestly, if we chop down some more of these spruce trees, we could just uh, grow giant taiga trees at our uh, at our base. So that would be kind of helpful. Got a little bit of a snowy biome. Oh, is this another village? Oh my gosh. This one seems to actually have residents, though. 
Yo. Nice. Very nice. Oh, sheep! Where were you when I needed you? Hello. Wool traders. Cool. I mean, we completely just looted a village already. There's not that much that I need, honestly. Don't want to... Don't want to take everything these guys have got, but if there's something nice that we fancy, I might, I might take one or two things, you know? One or two things. Oh, got like a little bit of a risky, uh, risky house. Who would want to live here? Into like the opening of this cave. Every night you go to bed just actually terrified of mobs. <laughs> Gonna grab a little bit of extra coal because that cave looks like it might lead somewhere, and we will definitely need some torches. So, let's grab some of those. Oops, other way. Gonna need some more sticks. And that looks like a good amount. All right. Let's see what this cave is all about. And I'm already getting distracted. Oh, is that rooted dirt? Oh, it is. It is. Also, one thing to keep in mind in Terralith is that uh, the caves and stuff, cave systems are also actually modded as well. I don't think they're modded to the extent that uh, like the overworld above ground is, but you will still find a couple of uh, variants, which is pretty cool. Oops. It was time. We had to make a new shovel. We just had to. Look at all this rooted dirt. Nice. Oh! <gasps> we have moss. I repeat. We have moss. Look at that! We found a lush cave! Very nice, very nice. A little bit of iron. Why not? Just treat myself. I heard a spider. I'm gonna look up. I don't see one yet. There, you know what? That is a prime spot for a creeper to drop down on me. And absolutely just ruin my life. Alright, what do we got here? I was hoping we had some water I could jump into, but doesn't look like it. I'm gonna have to, like, scaffold down, I guess. I'm gonna go where this clay is, because you know what? We're gonna need some clay anyway. Clay's great for pots, uh, and what else? I mainly use it for pots. Sometimes terracotta if you need it, you know? I'm scared. I'm just gonna scaffold down now. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Whoop! Dude, you took damage just to get to me. Homie, are you okay? Jeez. Okay, we've got ourselves a really nice looking lush cave. Very excited. Ooh, it also has uh, the watercolor from the cherry biome. That's so pretty. I love it. I'm gonna grab some of this iron. Cannot help myself. I would also like to grab some diorite as well. And possibly, if we can find it, maybe some deep slate. Kind of feeling uh, building with some deep slate today, I think. With the palette I have in mind, with all of the moss and, like, really bright colors, deep slate could be, like, that nice little bit of contrast that we need, you know? I think I'm going to grab at least a stack of moss as well. That actually scared me. Oh, I completely forgot. I honestly forgot I was in survival. I was like, what is that? <laughs> oh my, I'm so sorry if some of you were just chilling and I absolutely gave you a fright. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was my bad. I 
was too distracted by how beautiful this is. That's why lush caves are slightly almost sinister in a way because they're so beautiful, but there's so many scary things also lurking within them. Terrifying. <laughs> oh boy. That was wild. I'm lucky I actually survived that. That brought me down to like two hearts. Oh my gosh. And I'm out here every long play being like, caving is the most relaxing thing in the world. I love it so much. Just like brings me so much joy. Meanwhile, that happens. You know what? Still love it though. Still love caving. That ain't gonna stop me. The next one might though. We'll see. All right, I'm just like keeping an eye out, you know? Oh, oh, it's just the... It was just these guys. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Play it cool. Play it cool. No sweat. There is a lot of iron in here, actually. We are not doing too bad for ourselves. If I could find a little bit more coal, that would actually be great, too. Ooh, okay, that is perfect. I might head down there, even though it looks a little bit risky, because I would like some of the deep slate. Oh. Or fish. I also want to make sure I grab some of that diorite as well. So I gotta keep an eye out for that too. Oh, hello? Oh, there's a spawner there. Kinda like blocked from hurting me though. This is ideal. Oh, is it a spider spawner or is that? Yeah, that's spider. Oh, ow, ow. Stop it, stop it. Okay, I, I'm too curious. I have to know. Gotta know. Gunpowder, bone meal, I'll definitely take. Bucket? That would be useful, actually. That would be very useful. More iron? Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at my inventory. That's the problem with uh, lush caves. It's just your inventory fills up so fast, there's a witch there. I'm gonna try to avoid that as best as I can. What I am gonna do, though, is because we have this bucket now, this trusty little bucket, I'm gonna go grab out some water from over here. And just do this so I can safely get down. And probably to about here. Oh, there's amethyst too. I don't want to go too far down. Uh, just because, honestly, I'll probably get distracted. It's not even so much a fear of mobs. Because let's be real, the mobs could drop down at any time. It's more so just me being distracted and never ever resurfacing, you know? I just need to get rid of some of this stuff so I can collect the deep slate and then we're good to go. We can always make a trip back here if we want to, which I might have to do, um, depending on what ki kind of resources we need and stuff. But for now, this seems to be okay. I'm thinking if we grab at least a stack and a bit of deep slate, we can at least use it for like a trim or something. Ooh. Nice. Deep Slate has definitely one, been one of those blocks that I've been utilizing a lot more in my builds recently. I used to not necessarily know what to do with it. I feel kind of lost um, incorporating it into my palettes, and now I just love it. Honestly, big shout out to my homie Waxrod 
He, I, I feel like he's like the deep slate and mangrove king. He utilizes them so well in his builds. And honestly, it's so inspiring to see what he comes up with. He's just such a great builder too, honestly. No, I don't want the cobble. Give me the deep slate. Oops. Well, that's all that. There's something like beyond there. Trying to trying to weasel its way over to me. Sounds like a spider or something. Spiders kind of sound like they have like squishy toes or something. They're always like. It can't really be that scary when they've got those like squishy toe sounds. Then again, cave spiders though. Never mind. I retract my statement. Cave spiders are actually terrifying. The poison? No. If I see one of those coming at me, I just, I absolutely run. I'm gone. Okay, what are we at now? 45. Let's just get to a cool 64. That should probably be good. I don't know. I always underestimate the amount of like blocks that we need for builds, but... I'm gonna say two stacks and let me know in the comments before you get to, I guess, the rest of this video, if you think I got enough or not enough at all. Or just let me know if you overestimate or underestimate because I always underestimate how much I'm gonna need, always. All right, I think that should be good. I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, oh my gosh. I, after that creeper incident, just very skittish now. Okay, I want to collect some of this diorite too. How can I safely get across? I think this way. This is where the witch was though. Eh, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, I can't get rid of any of this moss because we definitely need it. <sighs> If anything, we're going to need more moss. I'm going to be real. I feel like this is turning into maybe a bit of a two trimmer, you know? Mm. Can I make more torches? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, perfect. Freed up some space and now we're good to go. All right, how many are we at now? We are at 63. Wow, very close. 64, one stack. Oh, I left you behind, I'm so sorry. You're just gonna float there for eternity because I'm gonna leave this spot. So you're never actually gonna despawn. So that's just your life now. You're floating, dude. Okay, and finally, I have a little bit more space in that stack to get a little bit more moss. Then we're pretty much good to go. Like I said, it, your inventory just fills up so fast in the lush cave. I see you. Hey, what your pal did was not very nice, okay? Not very nice. Oh, iron. Well, if I must, you know? If I must. Don't mind if I do. All right, that is enough. Oh, there's more space. 
I was going to say that is more than enough, but I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this and I would say that we're done. We are all good to go. Now we might have to come back here for some stuff depending on, uh, just depending on how well we did with collecting things. We might need a top up, but I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I'm going to scaffold up really quickly. I think this is where I came from. The torch indicates that it is so. Oops. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. I'm wondering if I can just sleep now too. I'm a little scared, so. No. Apparently it is daytime up there. Mm, scaffold a bit more. Oh, oh, I ran into it! <laughs> oh no! Why'd I run into it? Why'd I do that? Well, it's a good thing that we're doing, um, a, a chill long play so on on this map system it does show my deaths so i can like tp here and stuff so for the sake of the chillness i did even though i feel as though me being blown up by a creeper and screaming no into all of your ears i don't think that was very chill but i hope you all enjoyed that <laughs> i hope you got you all got some laughter out of it because I thought it was kind of entertaining, you know? I hope so. All right, I'm going to drop that shovel. He definitely came from there. Remember earlier, I was like, that's a perfect spot for a creeper to jump out of. Well, I was right. All right, well, we have gotten everything. Um, I lost my dignity in those caves. But other than that, I think we are set and ready to go. I usually do my no commentary long plays in peaceful mode, so we never really have to worry about mobs. But I've done a couple of commentary long plays now, and I think that's the first creeper that's ever taken me out. I actually think that might be my first death as well. But it was bound to happen at some point. I mean, Minecraft do be like that. Every once in a while, something just unexpectedly takes you out. <laughs> it's all part of the process. I really hope you all enjoy the survival aspect of these commentary long plays, though. I think it adds a nice little challenge, especially because we're not usually doing anything too crazy in these long plays. Like, I'm not going to the nether, I'm not fighting the wither, all of that stuff. But it adds a little bit of challenge and suspense and humor, of course, because I think that when things like that happen, it's just funny. Let me know in the comments, though, what has been the worst Minecraft death that has happened to you? Because I have definitely had my fair share of bad ones. So yeah, I would love to hear some of your Minecraft stories. All right. We are back at our little base with pretty much everything, I think. I, I'm quite sure I picked it all up, so I think we should be good. Now I just have to organize this hot mess and see what we've got. Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. We've got all of our stones sorted, I believe, and all of our moss, which is great. Now all we really need to do is worry about gathering up some spruce and oak for the build. And then I think we'll pretty much be ready to build. Once we get a little bit of a base established, I would also love to do a little bit more exploration because it didn't really look like that cave was pretty much like modded or anything. So I would just love to see if there's any other different types of terrain we could look at all of that stuff. I think the most important thing now is to get a base established. So with that, we definitely should get some, ooh, you know what? I definitely saw some spruce saplings over in that abandoned village over there. I feel like we should just go grab those and then we can make giant taiga trees to make our lives so much easier. All right, I've eaten and I'm ready to roll. 
Now I just need to make sure, yeah, I still have my axe. We're good to go. Just hop over here, and I think they were pretty much just hanging out in, like, any chest. Here we go. Two. Uh, no chest there. Mm, nothing in here. Let's check one of these. Nothing. <laughs> I swear I saw so many when I was first here. The fire is really spreading though. Oh my. Nothing. What about over here? Gotta have something. Oak! Okay. I mean, honestly, worst case scenario, there's some spruce trees here, but... I just know I saw them. Flint! What is this? Alright, well... <laughs> I know they're in one of these. Just struggling at the moment. I'm gonna- I'm gonna chop down this guy just in case. So we can at least start, uh, getting some saplings from the tree falling. But I am sure there's sun kicking around here. Already looked in here. I feel like the horse and the bee are in cahoots with whatever happened in this village. Why is there a fire? Why is it abandoned? Why are they the only two things here? It makes no sense. Nothing's adding up. Oh, here we go. Six. Perfect. Uh, so we got six plus this might give us a little bit more if we break it. And then we should be good to plant a couple of giant taiga trees. Didn't get anything out of that. That's okay, though. We do need to go to bed, though. And a good thing there's tons of beds around here. Ah, dusty. So dusty in here. There was a draft. There wasn't a door. It's just not a good time overall. All right, what do you say we plant some of these trees right here? Let them grow. And then, uh... In the meantime, I'm going to try to get a couple more saplings and just chop down some of this, uh, these trees for the wood anyway. Then, th then we should be pretty much good to go, I think. Perfect. I'm also probably going to run into that vanilla forest and grab a little bit more oak as well. I think we're going to need it, so... It's a good thing we have that close by because the shrubs in the biome we're in don't really give too much oak. So let's grab some of this.
And I gotta eat. It's a good thing we found all that bread and stuff, though. How much oak do we have? We only have 49, so I want to keep gathering up a little bit more. Maybe just about a stack, I would say. I don't think we'll need too much. Don't want to chop that one because it's a knotted tree and my least favorite thing to chop, honestly. Knotted trees and mangrove trees. Why are mangrove trees just the worst to chop down? There's a skeleton close by. It's probably like a cave or something. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Definitely. Ooh, our tree. Oh wait, no, I thought that was our tiger tree. I was like, oh, it's all ready to go. Would you look at that? Apparently not. Got a lot of saplings though, so that's good. We could plant some while we're still kind of gathering up uh, some other logs. Should be good with that. All right, I think that's good. What are we at now? We're at 64 and 6 for our oak, and we just need tons of spruce. Pretty much just waiting on those two taiga trees, or three, that we planted. Honestly, once those ones uh, appear, we're going to have more than enough spruce for uh, what we need today. Even if we don't use all of this oak, I... Oh! There's a bee in here. Are you hiding? Are you hiding because you are the culprit? You set this village on fire? Anyway, as I was saying, even if we don't use all this oak, it's good to have extra of a certain type of wood because then we can use it for things like barrels and stuff uh, without wasting all of the other stuff that we're building with. So also going to kind of just steal some of these trap doors along the way. I realize that they're here and you know what? Trap doors are expensive to make. I could also just rip apart this entire village uh, with all of the logs and stuff, but sometimes I just feel bad doing that. Even though it's like easy access to materials, there's something about it <laughs> that we're taking every single thing from a village just makes me feel a little bit bad. And then it just looks terrible. I don't I don't mind taking a couple things here and there, like the trap doors and stuff, but entire structures, I don't know. I know it's just a game, but I don't know. It just makes you feel a little guilty. All right, how we doing? Anything yet? Anything? I keep thinking this tree is a giant taiga tree, and I'm like, yes, let's go. It's not. It is not. These guys are taking a while to grow. We do have some bone meal back at the base, though, that I could take. Might do that, honestly. Let me just go get my boat, and then we'll uh, quickly go back home. We're very close. It's just over there. Also, how many trapdoors have I gotten? Whoa, a full stack? 
let's go i'll barely even need to craft any you know what that helps so much with the supply of spruce that is so good all right let me get this bone meal and watch i'm gonna go back get it and then as soon as i turn around one of those trees are gonna appear that's not a bad thing though that's not a bad thing All right, let's put this stuff away just so we know we have it. Uh, this can go here. Boom. Boom. Oh, we'll, we'll get this guy in here too. And then bone meal, we've got one, but I thought I collected a bunch of bones. Oh wait, I do, I have them in my inventory. Look at that. Nice, I think we're all set to go then. And let's just pop this back in here, burn this. We're gonna need a little bit more coal. We could go to one of the mountainsides because there seems to be so much along there. I don't know if I'm prepared to go back into a cave yet after what had happened. I think it's probably uh, probably for the best. Stash those away for now too. Okay, I'm just gonna make one more ax just in case because we're gonna have a couple of big trees to chop down. And now I think we're officially good to go. Let's bring our bed just in case, even though we're right by that village. And I don't think they've grown yet. Just gonna take that so I can swim over here. I guess we should probably be swimming around like this island <laughs> the other way. Be a little bit more efficient. That's okay. All right, let's bone meal one of these. See if we can get one to grow. Oh, instant. Absolutely instant. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna start chopping this down. Then with all of this spruce, we should be pretty much good. Might do one more tree, I think, just to get a couple stacks of spruce, because we're probably going to need it. So we'll do two and then uh, replant some and then go. <gasps> oh no. I almost fell. Oh, saw that coming. It is nighttime though. I'm I'm a little scared because I'm all the way up here. This tree is a lot taller than I expected. Oh no. Please. When will this end? There we go. We have reached the top. And just as we finished chopping down this one, it looks like our other tree finally grew, except, oh my gosh, there are so many spruce leaves. That is a lot. Okay, let's sleep quickly, and I'm going to chop that one down, uh, and then we'll probably have more than enough. We have about two stacks right now. I would say three to four would probably be good for us. Let's just tear into this one. And then I think before we head home, maybe we should go to those mountains really quickly. Um, just to grab a little bit more coal. Then we could start building, I would say. Or actually, you know what? Maybe we head back first, start building stuff up, go get coal. And then we'll worry about it later. We'll just worry about it later. 
I'm itching to get building, honestly. I'm very excited. This was a pretty small tree, actually. That did not go very high up. Alright, all done with that. Let's grab these saplings so we can replant some. Mm, where could I put this so it grows properly? Probably right here, actually. There we go. Alright, so we'll check back uh, a little bit later to see if these trees have grown. We're probably going to have to make a trip back here, I would assume. We've got quite a bit of spruce to start with, but we might end up needing more. That's okay, though. We can always come back. All right, let's get this spruce put away for now because we're going to be starting with the foundation. Let's just get this stuff put away. Boom, boom. And saplings, I guess we could pop them in here for now. And I think we are probably good to go. All right, I'm going to start by making a stone cutter, which we're going to have to toss some cobblestone in here. Let's get three pieces, burn that up, because I want to kind of use deep slate for the footprint of the build. So I'm going to have to turn some of that into bricks as well. So we have a good area to lay a foundation here. I think that's perfect. Just making sure it is all clear and set to go. Did I torch this? I don't think I did. So I think I'm going to toss a couple torches down here because we don't want the same accident as last time. That was just not fun. Perfect. Three pieces of stone ready to go, which means we can make our stone cutter. And with the stone cutter, I'm going to make probably a stack of deep slate bricks. The rest can be cobbled. Maybe the stack can go into bricks as well. And I think we're set to begin building our foundation. So this is pretty much the perfect spot. We have more than enough room. I think I'm going to start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that should be good. And then we'll go nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll just connect all of this. I think that placement is pretty much perfect. It's just going to be a small little cabin, so we don't have to worry too much. And then from here, let's go two. And then three across. And I think we're good to go for that. That's looking good. So from here, I should probably torch it just in case until we start building out the rest of it. From here, we're going to need some spruce, though. So let's grab all of our spruce, and I'm going to grab some of this oak as well. Because we are going to have to make some barrels. I'm going to use the oak for the barrels, because I don't think we'll need as much as the spruce. Nine. Probably need a bit more than that, honestly. Actually, we could use some of this birch, too. I forgot we had it. Nice. So let's do that. Whoops. 
15 seems good. We'll honestly probably end up using most of those, but we can always make more. That should get us uh, at least for the foundation of the build. So, of course, we're going to be using spruce beams on the foundation. And usually when I do spruce beams, I like to attach it with like uh, oak barrels at the bottom. I always find it's like a really nice uh, texture and detail to the build. I find that they kind of help add a visual weight to the beams. So that is perfect. Actually, we'll leave those in our inventory for now. And then let's switch to the sprucies. And with the spruce beams, let's go up by, I would say, two more. So that's three in total for the height. So this roof is going to rust a little bit lower. But I, th I think it will kind of fit in theme with what we're going for, like a cute little rustic cottage. And let's just make sure we get these stripped so they match the barrels. And we are good to start filling this in. You know what? I'm going to add beams to this one as well. It's going to be a little bit awkward right here, but I think you'll probably be able to see them on the inside. So boom and boom. All right, that's looking good. So for the walls, I said I wanted to do something a little bit uh, like brighter. And I was kind of thinking of doing a mixture of oak and also diorite. Hear me out. Hear me out. I have a little bit of an idea. What if we did oak on the bottom here, like a beam of stripped oak and maybe some planks in between or something, something like that. Strip it. Boom. Need more oak planks. Something like this. I think this could look really cool. And then we have diorite kind of resting on top. I think that might look neat use these slabs up because I don't think we're ever going to use all of these unless we make more barrels, of course. All right, so oak on the bottom. And then what if we do some diorite on top? I think that could look kind of cool. It's a very like messy um, contrast between the two, but I think it could work. I don't know. Let's see. If we're going to do diorite, though, I think we should probably add in some polish because it's a little bit more smooth. It'll kind of like dampen the roughness of the texture we have going on with the diorite and help kind of blend it all together, you know? So let's do a couple of these mixed in. I don't know. I think that looks pretty neat. I like that. Diorite is one of those blocks where the texture is very rough. It almost looks like TV static, but you can definitely utilize it in the right way. I know I struggled with using diorite for a long time. I honestly avoided it quite a bit, but I've gotten, I've since then gotten used to it. And sometimes you do need a really bold texture like that. I don't know if I have enough though. I really thought I grabbed enough for this, but apparently not. Actually, you know what? We'll probably be okay. We just have this wall left. That's perfect. It all worked out in the end. Look at that. Let's go to sleep so we can see this a little bit better. Because right now the lighting is not ideal. Just gonna punch my bed until I fall asleep. There we go. Still very bright because of the rising sun, but I think this is looking good. Real good. Okay, cool. So this is gonna be a build where the roof rests a little bit lower. I kind of like that though. It's gonna be just like a cute little cozy cottage. Um, what we're gonna do next then is use our spruce again. Let's try to keep this as organized as we can. 
We're gonna have to make a ton of spruce stairs. Cause I think I'm gonna go mostly spruce stair. We'll make some slaps cause we're gonna have to use them running across anyway. Let's make a couple more than that. We'll do this, this, and this. I think that should be enough. I always underestimate how many stairs a roof will need. So let's go with maybe a couple more. I think we're mostly done with using spruce beams. So I'm not too worried about using all that up. Gotta eat something though. Getting a little hungry. Do I have any dirt to scaffold with? Yes, I do. Perfect. Actually, I could use the moss, but then again, I don't want to accidentally <laughs> drop it and then it despawns. I don't want to go back into that cave. You can't make me. Also, I just realized I look so silly with these iron pants and boots. Should I just make a full iron getup? I think I should. Also for my safety, because after what happened today, listen, <laughs> I think I need it. There we go. That looks so much better. There's just something about just iron pants and shoes that looks so goofy. I look, I look kind of cool now, you know, I'm looking fresh. All right, let's start with the roof line along here. I think I'm going to go classic rooftop because I kind of have it pictured in my brain where I add a bunch of details to the roof, like dormers, chimneys, maybe even a tower on top. So we're going to go with the classic roof and just kind of kind of let it be, you know, except I do have in mind a little roof design at the top, which I've been trying to learn. And I think I've got it down. I tried it uh, on some builds in creative. And I'd like to experiment to see how it looks. We're going to go kind of, um, I guess maybe Viking is the word in a way with this design. So I think the thing is I have to put a piece of dirt here and then it's upside down stair here, upside down stair here. I forget what this design is called. Someone on in the chat on our stream the other day said what, what the roof design is called. That's not it. That is not it. Although that does look kind of cool, but that ain't it. I forget where it goes. <laughs> I did this the other day. You know what? Maybe that is right. I have to look at it from below. We. I mean, that's not a bad variation. I just don't think that's what I had done previously. Maybe it's one lower. I have to double check. Roof designs. I, I, I'll tell you what. This has been the thing that's always gotten me from like since the beginning of my Minecraft journey was doing roof designs and clearly I'm struggling again. I kind of forget what I did because I did it. That's a problem with creative. You do you do something in creative and then you're like, how do I how do I do that again? I don't remember. <laughs> Oops. I think this might be it. I don't remember. Let's take a little look see. And no, that's not it either. Okay. I think my problem is that I need to, hold on a second, let me properly make stairs. So we have these guys here, right? These ones stay here. We can have this in the middle. I think what I need to do is get this here. No. <laughs> I'm struggling so bad with it. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna do my classic roof shape for now. I really want to add it though, I just forget what I did. <laughs> oh man. One thing I'm trying to learn is even little roof designs like that, just to change up the vibe a little bit. That's kind of been 
what I've been striving to do with my builds is just do minor little changes that enhance uh, little details, which kind of drastically change the theme of your builds. It's kind of my goal this year is to is to learn some of that. All right, I'm just going to build out this and then I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure it out. Let's go like this, and then let's build the classic roof here as well. I mean, if we figure it out, we can put the design on this too. And then I need to, oops. All right, we need to figure this out. So I think what I did was like, I somehow made this come out a little bit further with different blocks. What if I did like, uh, hmm. Trying to get like a dirt block here. What if I did this? And then this. That might be the solution. So, stair going this way. And then stair going, whoops, this way. This might be it. This might be the solution. We Let's break this dirt so we can get a proper look at it. This is looking already so much better than what I had before. Not that the other two were actually bad. Yes, this is it. This is what I had uh, tried out in creative on some builds. Yes, I did it. So this like, I forget what the roof shape is called, but it's very like Viking Nordic vibes to me, I guess. It, you can totally see how it completely changes the vibe of the build, though. When you build out something like this, you have this roof, classic, very cottage core, and then on the other side, boom. Definitely changes the vibe. So let's get that on um, the other two roof spots. I think it would look good on this one, too. I'm going to give it a shot. So we have to do that. That. Same with this side. Place one here. Place one here, and we're good to go. We Eat some bread. And then last but not least, oops. This side right here. Learning something new. I'll tell you what, there's always a little bit of a learning curve. Always. But we did it. And now we have a roof style that I can incorporate into other builds. It would be so fun to build up a village in this style. I don't know. I think it's like, it's so simple, but so cool. I really like that. I think with this one though, I'm almost wondering if I should swap like these out with slabs instead if I can kind of make a similar design using only slabs because it does kind of like jut out a lot for such a small piece of build. You know what I mean? I'm almost wondering if I should try that first and then we'll decide which one looks better. So if anything, I would just maybe I want to try something very simplistic to get the point across, you know? I think I might have to place a piece of dirt here or double slab it. Oh no, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to place the slab here, do this and then break this, replace it. Sometimes it can be really awkward placing slabs cause then it breaks as like a full block and it's like a full, a whole thing. But I think that was the way to do it. So, boom, boom, remove, oh wait, no, boom, boom, remove this afterwards, and then there. This might look a little bit better because it's a smaller piece of roof. 
I think I like that more. It fits, uh, it fits the theme of this little tiny guy a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think that's a good change. Okay, cool. So this is all done. We pretty much just have to fill in the rooftop and obviously get like a door and all that stuff in here. But we're pretty much good to go. Oh wait, no, if I'm doing the roof, I need to I need to be able to walk up there. So I think I'm gonna keep maybe some of this in my inventory still. Get the moss out. You know what? I'm gonna start burning this iron again just in case. And I think I'd like to go full moss roof. Oh, we got some rain. Got some rain, but no roof. That is not good. But like I was saying, I think I'd like to go full mossy roof. And then we could bone meal it, which would look super cool. I always love an overgrown roof. I think it looks so cool. Now, the only thing, we're going to have to figure out how to cap off this roof without making it look goofy. We might have to bring this up a little bit because I have to place a slab here, which is going to throw off the balance of that design. It's It might end up looking a little bit too flat, yeah. So I think what I'm going to have to do is attach them to that new slab that I just placed instead. That's an easy fix, though. So what I can do is this. You know what, I'm just gonna run this across. Oh, am I using a stair here? What is going on? Hmm. I wonder if a stair would look good though. Just to give it like a little bit more. Oh wait, no, we can't do that because I wanted the little slab there. Getting ahead of myself. There we go. I think that looks better. Yeah, I think that's cool. All right, I like that. Back to filling in this roof. The moss kind of overhangs um, from the stairs, which honestly, I really don't mind. We could have made these full blocks, but I like the, the change in it. It looks a little bit messy, but I think that's good for a build like this. That's very earthy looking, if that makes sense. Ooh, you know what? I could have just done this instead. <gasps> Where it kind of dips lower. I think I might do that. Hold on. <laughs> Changing things up. So the OG one rested like this. I could just have it. Oops. I keep grabbing stairs by accident. So we can have it resting. So the beam starts here. There's a kitty cat roaming around. Where did you even come from? Oh yeah, there's a, there's a village over there. I completely forgot. Haven't even looked at it yet, honestly. kitty cat yeah i still like this one the og design a little bit better because it kind of gives the illusion where with this stair right here and this slab here this actually looks like an upside down stair even though it's not i think i prefer this and then we could just have the beam resting behind i actually don't see an issue with that at all i think it's looking clean My bad. All right, perfect. 
So we've got ourselves a roof in place. Do I have free cam on this? I do. I forgot. I have free cam here so we can see things a little bit better. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. So now, as you can see, it's very flat looking. We are going to add some texture to it with some bone meal, but I think this could also do with some other um shape and stuff like a dormer roof so we could do something easily like this place a little dormer window i think i said roof before but i believe it's just window so place a little thing like this and i think maybe a chimney could look cool on this side um a tower would look really nice i don't know if i'd want to do like a closed off tower though maybe a watchtower or something could look really cool so what I can do is one, two, three, four. So that's three, one, two, three. Perfect. I'm just trying to make sure it's like kind of a little bit off centered. And then from here, maybe add some barrels. Do that to the same side. So it's going to be three across and then we should probably go three across here as well. Just so it's all the same. What if we use... Hmm. A mixture? Of spruce beams and planks, possibly? So it looks a little bit more, like, rustic. See how that looks. I think that's cool. And then maybe um, instead of having this like fully closed off, we could do something like an upside down stair here. But I might have to put moss down at the bottom to kind of help cover that up. Or should I bring this moss back? Maybe yes. Maybe have this built a little bit more into the rooftop. Oh, oh my gosh. That scared me. Oh, are you climbing up? Oh, you're not, but you're hitting me. Jeez, Minecraft do be dangerous today. Can I just like pour water, get you to go away? I don't even want the bad omen, you know? Ow, they made it up here. Ow. What the heck? I'm probably just gonna have to go get Bad Omen uh, removed by getting some milk. Yeah, they're chasing me. Yeah, they are. He just keeps hitting his friend though. Maybe this might work out for me in the end. You know what? I'm sick of you. Don't kill me, please don't kill me. I've already had one death today. You don't know what that's like. Okay, we're gonna have to go get some milk because I have bad omen now. Wait, I'm surrounded by villages. Does that does that mean I could start a raid? Okay, um, well, we might take a slight pause in building really quickly. I'm gonna go find a cow, but I'm gonna go off that way. I don't want anything bad to happen. If we set off a raid today, I just, I just don't know. If we have to deal with that, I, I don't know what I, I, I would do. That, you know what, that build, that's looking really nice. I'm proud of that one. I mean, that village is abandoned, so maybe nothing would happen, but still. I'm not risking it. There were cows around here, so I think we'll be okay. Also, I could do with a little bit more coal, probably. We're going to have to make, like, a ton of lanterns and all that stuff, so. We were due for an adventure. I remember seeing cows somewhere up there when we first started this journey. So let's head that way first, then we'll gather all of our materials afterwards. Just want to make sure we're nice and safe. 
Also, I was thinking about it. I was like, how would you all enjoy a rainy commentary long play? I know rainy long plays are very relaxing. A lot of people like them. I enjoy doing them as well, but I just don't know if it would translate well with me talking over the rain the whole entire time. So let me know in the comments if that's something that interests you or if you're like drift too much noise. Because I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't know if it would work because of how much like noise the rain produces. It could either be super cozy or just not a good time. There was a cow around here somewhere. I need to go to bed soon, too. Okay, I think I need to sleep. All right. We gotta find one of these cows. Oh, there's one right there. Two! Perfect. I still love this biome so much. This was that one was super fun. The build that we did in uh, this biome. So, so cool. If you haven't checked it out, it is on my channel under Cozy Longplay. I think if you search Terralith Longplay as well, it'll probably pop up if you're interested in watching that one and you haven't yet. OK, let's drink this milk. Honestly, I feel bad. I might kill a couple of these cows, too, because we're out of bread. And uh, we got baked potatoes, but also I could use this leather for some item frames, too. Sorry, homies. Had to do it. Oop. Oh, oh, my gosh. What is happening? What is happening? No, I refuse. I refuse to be taken down by another creeper today. Absolutely refuse. Oh my. Like, where did you come from, buddy? He like hiked all the way up the mountain. Oh, I see there's a cave opening. There's a zombie that's just burning to a crisp right now. Dude, you need some SPF, bro. Just gonna let him be, honestly. He'll tire himself out eventually. You know, might be some good stuff down there, but I'm gonna take the safe route. And tear into this mountain instead. All right, there's tons of coal up there. Is that the sheep that I sheared? It totally is, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think the village that we visited, the one that actually has villagers, has some sheep. I'd like to go back when we are decorating um, cause I wanna make a bunch of like, you know, paintings and stuff, maybe some carpet later, but we'll worry about that in a bit. For now, let's grab some coal. And I have no food except raw beef, which is not great. But I won't be too much longer here, I don't think. Only gonna grab a little bit of stuff. I'll start heading back in the direction of our house. Because there is a bunch of coal and stuff along the way. So we'll just do that, you know? Play it safe, might as well. Grab some coarse dirt along the way, too. It's always great for pathing and stuff. I thought that vine was a creeper. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I am just, like, totally scared of them now. <laughs> Oh, 
we are absolutely gonna have to go back and grab some of those azalea leaves as well just getting a little bit worried because my hunger is getting pretty low so i don't want to be too long here otherwise it just really starts impacting things probably shouldn't be running around as well but i just can't help it i'm zooming in this game Last little bit of coal, and then we'll head back. Nice. All right, let's go. <gasps> That's looking cute. I like it. <gasps> oh, hello, sheep. I was just talking about you. Oh, where'd you go? He ran. Not quick enough, though, buddy. There's another one here. Perfect. Two. Three. Not four. There's a lot of animals around here, though. I did not have to go far at all to find a cow. <laughs> I ran all the way over to that forest. That's okay. We needed some other supplies anyway, so. Oh, geez. Classic. All right, I desperately need some food right now. Let's cook that up and let's get some of our stuff put away so it's not clogging our inventory. I'm going to eat these baked potatoes, though, because I'm hungry. All right, so now we can continue working on our tower after we were rudely interrupted. Uh, where were we on this? Oh, yeah, I was just starting to put everything up. So stair. Mm, probably an upside down stair here as well even though eh, you can't really see it, so it doesn't really matter. Or actually, it is a different level. My bad. All right, let's do that. Then here. Wouldn't it look cool if we did, like, hmm. I only have three barrels. I'm going to have to make some more. But let's do that. And let's... Make some more barrels. I'm gonna need uh, a few for decoration anyway, so I don't mind making a bunch. We always end up using them. Oops. And last but not least, right here. So I wanted it kind of open. I'm wondering if I did an upside down stair here, what if I do like a regular stair here? So there's still an opening, but there's a little bit of a design to kind of hold it all in place, you know? I think that looks pretty cute. So next, all we really need to do is do a bit of a tower top, which should be relatively easy. What if we, let me take a look at what we've got. It's so hard to see with the sun behind the build. But yeah, what if what if we add some deep slate into this? Because we only have deep slate as the trim, which looks great, but it would be nice to incorporate it to kind of tie it all in together. We can also make the uh, chimney deep slate as well to help with that. I think that would be good. So what we could do is we could do walls for the tower and then build the rest up using some 
slabs and stuff. Actually, we're probably going to need at least like one more. Boom. Pop these down. And then I'm going to do slabs. I'm going to have to go up like this, though, very quickly. Break that guy so I can place them across like this. Then from there, hmm, how should we build this up? I want it to have a little bit of height. So what if I did maybe some stairs to give it that height, but also have a little bit of shape added to it so it's not a full block. And then we can go a full block here, wall on top. And then we're gonna need like a spruce fence too, just to like cap off the wall. But I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna have to look at it from below just to see. Actually, I keep forgetting. We can free cam, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to see. There we go. Yeah, I think that shape is good. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Nice iron armor you got there. I'm gonna sleep. I don't trust, I don't trust this seed. I swear, like mobs are spawning left, right, and center. This, it's dangerous. It is dangerous out here. All right, this is looking very nice. So I think what it needs now is obviously something uh, inside the roof here. We need some fencing. We obviously need a door and window uh, and chimney. I wanna get maybe the chimney in place. We don't have to do the fire and the trap doors just yet, but let's at least rough out the shape for it. So I would say here and here maybe. I always like going double chimney. I don't know why. It's just kind of like, it's my favorite design, to be honest. I think that should be fine. Hmm. I'm just thinking, do I want to give this one more height than this one? But I kind of like that it's diagonally going into the tower to kind of help draw your line of sight to the tower, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's cute. I really like that. So those are in place and now pretty much all we need to do is start decorating. I would say we could probably start decorating the the build itself and then work on the interior after maybe. Should probably figure out where the door is going to go. I'm guessing maybe right here. And then we'll have to pop out a window right here then. Could do a cute little porch or something. Maybe get a window here. I still need to fill all of this in too. Let's do that first. Diorite. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Stone cutter. I only gave myself three regular diorite left. Whoops. I don't even know if this is going to be enough. <laughs> uh, 10 pieces. Oops. Should be good. Let's see. The one thing I hate is that it's all going to be diorite, like the polished blocks. I'm going to try to break it up a little bit. At least by doing that. I think that's fine. Nice. And of course, we're going to have to get a floor in here. We'll at least put this in place and then make sure we keep this uh, well lit.
Then we just need some slabs for a ceiling. Wondering, what if I can do this? Just to give it a little bit more height. I can do a trim along here. This will give it more height and also a little bit more shape. Otherwise, we'd have to go like full slab across. I think that's like a nice, simple trim. I'm going to toss up a torch. Where can I do that? Probably around here, just in case. We don't want any monsters crawling around in our attic, you know? Just don't want that. There, I think that's cute. Nice and simple. And we have quite a bit of space to uh, build out a spot for a bed, all that stuff. So I think that's looking good. All right, now we need to work on kind of texturing everything and adding more details and stuff. So we're gonna need to make like a bunch of signs, uh, fences, all of that stuff. But I can start things off by bone mealing the roof up a little bit. Don't know if I want these azalea trees here. So I'm just going to remove those ones. I like the grass. If anything, I'd like to uh, put some azalea, like actual leaves within here instead of uh, the trees. I could probably just bone meal one. I don't have to go all the way over there again. Let's do that. Going to need new shears too. Oh yeah, let's see how this is looking though. Big yes. Big yes. I like that. I honestly don't even know if it needs the azalea leaves, to be honest. I really like it as it is right now, but I will trim some of these just in case. Um, usually I do tons of flower beds and stuff in front of the builds, and I think I will include some leaves and stuff, but I might leave it kind of uh, closer to what the terrain is. Cause this is really uh, rough terrain. I'd rather almost just blend it in than do like crazy flower beds and like bushes of azalea leaves and stuff. I think I'd rather try to blend this one in this time. We want this build to look like it's been here a long time. Not that it's been forgotten or anything. It's still well loved, taken care of. However, nature has also kind of run its course and has kind of started bleeding into the structure as well. All right, I have a very full inventory, so I'm gonna have to put some of this stuff away. We'll leave all of the leaves and stuff aside because I don't know when I'm gonna use them. So they'll go in that bin for now. Alrighty, so we need some fencing and we have all of those trap doors which we got uh, from the village that will definitely come in handy. Fencing, we're going to need quite a bit, I would say. Trap doors and I guess I should probably uh, make those campfires now for our chimneys. Let's do as many as we can, because I'll probably use them in other spots. And then what else would we need? Maybe some signs. I would say some signs and possibly some buttons. But buttons we can craft on the go. Easy. Okay. Let's start by getting our chimneys completed. Ooh, I just realized because this is in the way, we're not going to be able to close this one off. I might have to make it a little bit higher, which means that one's going to have to go too. Well, it's a good thing I made two camp... No, not two campfires. Four campfires. Because we need to redo that. I just prefer it if it was like entirely closed off. So I think adding a bit of height should be fine. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, 
I think that's okay. Once we put the campfires on, we can make like the final decision, but I think it should be fine. How's that looking? I think that's okay. I honestly probably would have preferred it maybe a little bit lower, but I would rather have the trap doors all the way around um, rather than how it was before. So I think that's good. I just swapped this out because I didn't want two bricks beside each other. I know it's such a nitpicky thing, but honestly, sometimes I just, I notice these things with my build and I'm like, I have to fix it. I'm just going to put some signs on the exterior here as well just to give a little bit of texture to this build. A little bit more shape, a little bit more texture. It always goes a long way. And then finally for the tower, I would say we just need to add in our uh, spruce vents at the top. And then it's pretty much good to go. Maybe we could stick in a lantern after as well uh, for some extra lighting, but we'll do that when we start lighting everything up. For now, we don't have to worry about it. And then finally for here, I would just say spruce fence for the window. And I'm probably going to do the same thing here and here. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to be real. I don't remember mossing this. How did that happen? Huh? I don't remember how that happened. That makes no sense to me. When did I do that? If somebody can explain how this strip of moss and these pieces right here happened, please help me because I'm very confused. Oh, it like spread over here too. Maybe it was when I was doing the roof. But that's so weird because it's so high up. I didn't realize it would affect some of the blocks below. That is really bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. If somebody uh, knows knows how that happened, please let me know because I think that's that's kind of weird. All right, now we have to decide what we're going to do with the outside of this build. I think I want, if anything, maybe a tiny uh, little staircase going up. I don't want like a huge balcony wrapping around. I want it to look kind of like rugged and messy. So I just don't think that's like kind of fitting with the vibe. So let's do a little staircase here. What if we did... Ooh, actually, sorry. What if we did... Stair coming out here. And then this. But on the sides, instead of doing like a full balcony all the way across, we just do something like this instead. It looks a little bit like too long, if that makes sense. So maybe... Maybe we actually do extend the balcony out and then just do fencing kind of like this to keep the rugged look in place. And also to kind of help with that, we can break it up a little bit too. So have like broken bits like this. This should probably stay attached here though. I think that looks pretty cute. And then we could add maybe a couple leaves here and there. I'd probably go oak instead of azalea though. And same with here, I mentioned how I didn't really want to add in too much, um, like too many flower beds and stuff. Instead, I think I'm just going to bring back like a bunch of grass, maybe some shrubs and stuff that fits in theme with what we have. So I'm going to get rid of this moss too. As much as I love moss, it's just very bright. So I don't think it really fits. Okay, that's gone, so now we can kind of bring back some of the grass and stuff with our bone meal. It's looking good. Oops. 
And then let's bring our shovel back in so we can get a small little path. This one I'm kind of feeling narrow, small path for this build. Something like that. I think that's pretty cute. Whoops. Let's get rid of all of the stuff we don't really need. And then I would like to get some coarse dirt around some of the edges. We might have to go get a little bit more, but that's okay. Try not to overdo it too much, because I find that it already looks like it's pretty much blended into the landscape. It kind of looks like it's been here all along. All I really needed to do was bring back some of the grass and stuff, and it pretty much fits into place perfectly. I love that. One thing we could do, though, is because some of these sides are looking just so flat, I would say bring in some barrels and chests on the sides here. But other than that, maybe a lean to actually on this side would be good as well. Other than that, though, we're pretty much set. Let's keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to bring back some leaves as well, and I'm going to do, honestly, probably just a couple here and there. I'm probably not going to bother with putting chests on this side. I'll do it on the side with the lean too because that makes more sense. I love it. It's so cute. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> There we go. And we can probably put away some of this stuff too. Then we're going to need to make some chests. Because we have lots of barrels. We just need a few of these. Oh my gosh, that piece of dirt scared me. I was like, why is there a cow here? After the creeper incident, I swear I've been like totally on edge. <laughs> I think that's perfect. You don't want anything too overstated. We could probably just fit a lantern here and then we're pretty much good to go. And speaking of lanterns, I feel like that's pretty much the last thing that we need to add to the front of this build other than our door, which I'll do the door first and then we'll get the lanterns done. But I just don't think it really needs that much. There's a lot of textures and like um, colors and shapes going on with the build already that it really doesn't need too many other details. And I kind of like that. All right, let's get our torches made. So we need our iron. Sorry, not torches, lanterns. And we will make just a bunch. Seven is not enough. We at least need to start with, I would say, 15. This is probably overdoing it now, but hey, we have the iron, so we might as well use it. 20. I think that's good. All right, it is lantern time. So I don't want to overdo it with lanterns either. I don't think I'm going to put any on the sides here. Just have one here. Maybe what we can do is, do I have any? Yes. I do have spruce uh, fencing left. I'll do one here. And I remember saying I was going to pop one right here. Although I kind of want it to be like resting on the barrel. 
There we go. So we got three on the bottom, and then let's get one on our tower as well. Just on the inside, I don't think we even need to hang it by a chain. Should be good as is. I don't know if I can reach that. There we go. Oh. Do I have slabs? Yes, I do. I don't know if I like the look of that, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, I broke both, so now it should fit nicely. How does that look? I feel like maybe because it has to rest higher, we actually do need a chain now. Yeah. Well, that one's gone. <laughs> gone into the abyss of the roof. That's fine. I'm going to make a chain very quickly. I believe it is two iron nuggets. And then we got our iron. We got our chain. We're good to go. Whoop. Whoop. How's that looking? Honestly, that looks a lot better. I'm glad I did that. Worth it. All right, I think we're pretty much good to go. Um, Honestly, the last thing I would do around here is just bone meal it. We didn't really have that much stuff here to begin with except for shrubs. So I think it's fine just to add in some texture again with grass. Keep it simple. Keep it fresh. Ooh, I broke that one by accident. Trying to keep some tall pieces. Not too many around the front of the base because it can uh, end up looking really messy. But we do want some behind right here. Just like that. I think that's good. I really, I really like this build. Honestly, I would love to build more with this palette. I think it's super cute. I feel like restoring a village with this palette would be really cool. I mean, there's a village over there that does need some work. I'm, I'm just saying, just saying. All right, let's start working on the interior. So we have a nice place to sleep and rest our little noggins. Not that my brain's small or anything. I'm, I'm big brain, of course, of course. Do I just like pop my bed in there? Is that weird? I mean, I don't know how else to fill this space, to be honest, unless we do like um, some storage. We'll try both because this is like, you know what? It's a little claustrophobic, just a bit. Maybe here we just make it like a storage nook or something, you know? Then we can get a cute little, little lantern on top so the light shines through the window. And that's all good. I would say maybe add a light, maybe just one here. And on this side, hmm. Kind of debating sectioning off this, uh, this house a little bit. If we do that, though, I'm probably going to need some beams, though. I know it's going to take up space, but sometimes it kind of gives the illusion of having more space, if that makes sense. It's rather tricky when uh, the builds are so small like that, though. Oh, I had spruce in my inventory. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, now that the light's correct. I just wanted to take a look at it. <gasps> I love it. Super cute. Very, very cozy. Oops. So in this corner, I think because we have the door here, it is a little bit weird having like the beam right next to the door. Maybe not though. Maybe not. Might just be overthinking it. But because we have um, the entryway here, I think I'll do like the workstation here and this will be the bedroom, you know? 
You don't want to walk into a house right away and just have it be a bedroom. Just don't think it really makes sense. Unless, of course, you live in a bachelor apartment. Then it makes sense. But we have two rooms here, so... Maybe we'll get a beam running across as well. Just so we don't have such high trap doors. Something like that. And then... Or do we do... Ooh, do we do upside down stairs instead? Let's try that. Yeah, I like that better. That is cute. So we get this one guy right here. And then we got to get one more door. I say we, we fill this in with a door. For maximum privacy. Place it like this. Nice. Okay, perfect. Now we have like a little spot that clearly looks like a nook. You know what I mean? Just this little like three by three. Looks very nook like. And also, because I can attach, whoops, I can also attach these because we have it all the way around. Um, but because we have these upside down stairs here, we can actually put chests here and still open them, which is good. So maybe let's do something like this. Let's get some trap doors. And then we could get, we have a grindstone that we could also place. I'm gonna make this one functional. I was gonna make it kind of like a faux, um, faux shelf, but maybe having just a whole shelf straight across with everything we need. We have a grindstone. We also have our stone cutter that we can put there. That would be nice. We have two grindstones. You know what? I'm going to stick this one out here. There we go. Might as well use them, you know? I'm going to have to jump up to properly place this, though. There, and then stone cutter. Boom. Good to go. So we have a little workstation here, and in this spot, we are kind of lacking space, but I think we could probably fit a furnace in there. You know, I think we, I think we could wing it. We can make it happen. I would say if anything, we do something like this. I would like double furnace maybe. Uh, do I have any cobblestone? No, I gotta make another one. Then we could do a little deep slate wall to make like a smokestack type thing for it. One more furnace. Boom. Smokestack. However, this is going to have to change to, like, full sprucies, I think. That's okay, though. Is it okay? I don't know. Maybe we actually make that, like, full deep slate instead. Does that make sense? Hmm. Full deep slate. Round this off. That looks a little bit more natural, I would say. And then to maybe do, like, a little cover-up on it. Get that um that fencing there just to kind of bring back that spruce because it just looked like that huge chunk of deep slate looked a little bit awkward but i think that works and then here i would imagine just like a spot to put like coal and other things for the furnace could even put away i was gonna say our iron in there if we want maybe some food this is just <laughs> just starting to try to kind of put stuff away now slyly oh my gosh S sir, you have no idea what- No, get out of here! You have no idea what I've been through today. Sneaking up like that is very rude. Oh my gosh. 
That actually gave me a heart attack. I was like, it is a creeper and this house is done for. But you know what? I have the perfect thing for you. I'm here to sell you a boat today. Come on, let's test it out. Let's see how it, how it runs. So this thing is equipped with um, a V600 motor engine. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty good on terrain. It's actually an all-terrain vehicle if you utilize it correctly. And um, let me just take it for a test drive out here. And maybe once we go over here, you can see how you like it. Also, it's very quick on ice as well. So that's great. It's great for travel is what I'm saying. This looked weird to me. I was like, why is this glitching out? But I realized it's all slabs. So it has like a softer curve. Cool. Well, I'm going to let you stare at this ice because we can't get up on it. So I'll let you kind of like test drive the boat, see how you like it. And just um, if you ever if you ever make it back, let me know how you like it. Okay, bye. The amount of cows I'm seeing. The, there's so many cows, and I was like, I can't find any for milk. <laughs> they were here all along. Silly me. Classic drift. While heading back from that boating adventure, I kind of realized this needs a little bit of a design too. I saw it off in the distance and I was like, you know what? We need to fix that. So fix it, we will. I think that's perfect. Nice and simple. I like it. All right. So this is all done. We do, however, actually need like a light here somehow. I'm guessing, you know what? I should probably just put a lantern in the ceiling right there. I think that's good. Um... If anything, I'll add like an item frame to this area, but I like it. Maybe it needs some, hmm. I was gonna say, maybe it needs some greenery, but I think it's all right. We'll add the greenery to this section, you know? I think this corner's kind of obvious for the bed. Um, I would like to dye it, however. Hold on a second. I think I do have some flowers in here we could use. Corn flour, there we go. Blue dye. Let's get a blue bed. And pop that there. Can't sleep yet, but that's okay. So maybe what I can do is surround this by a bit of a wardrobe as well. Did I put my barrels away? Yes, I did. Get one here. Then maybe just going across too. Keep it simple. I'm gonna have to make more though. I'm like desperately trying to sleep just cause I'm terrified of creepers. I don't want one to be waiting for me outside while I go get some materials and then just I go kaboom and this whole thing is just gone. <laughs> I'm just so scared now. All right, let's make a couple more barrels. try to sleep. I don't know why I insist on closing that door every time. I'm inside. It's not like it makes a difference, but it just feels like I have to. S. I did not mean to do that. S. I think something like that would be kind of cute. And then we could probably rest a lantern right here. I like that. That's like nice and simple. You know? Simple. Understated. Lovely. Alright, that's looking good. Uh, creeper check. I don't see anything. I think we're safe. So, I'm gonna add a couple of oak leaves as well. I would like to maybe get some pots in there. Oh, we have this brewing stand too, which could look kind of cute. And then we have all of our wool, which I do want to use for carpet, but I would also like to make a couple paintings. Paintings and item frames. Let's 
So we can get like an item frame in here and maybe one there. And then... Do I have any more like birch and oak? I want to use that before I use up all the spruce just in case. I really wish you could turn slabs back into um back into planks. That would make my life so much easier because sometimes I make too many. And it's just a whole thing. Let's start with two paintings and then a couple more item frames. Oh my gosh, I got scared again. <laughs> I don't think I'm not never gonna I'm never not gonna be on edge uh until this long play's done because of just how many mobs were coming after me. It's been a day, I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. Let's split up this clay and get it burning so we can get some pots. And while we wait for those, I guess I'll put like a trim on the bed. Just right there is perfect. And then what color do we want our carpet? Ideally, I would like white and maybe red would be nice because I just like to bring a little bit more color into this area. Right now, everything is very like just lots of wood, you know? Ooh, also, salmon are floating around. I think I should get a couple, because one would look nice in the item frame. Hello? All I need is one. We also have apples we can put in there. There we go. Brewing stand, however. Where should we put this? Maybe I should do a little, just like a little countertop here. It'd look kind of cute, you know? Let's do upside down stairs, maybe. Just gonna use leaves as a little placeholder for a second. Boom. Boom. And then what did I say we were gonna do? Oh yeah, brewing stand. And maybe a light. Cool. Actually, that light feels very bright. Almost too bright. Honestly, maybe just either a pot or nothing. Sometimes it's nice to have some empty space too. Let's get a couple pots going. I don't think, do I have dead bushes? I don't know if I found any. So I can't really do the planter that I normally do unless we have the dead bushes. Actually, maybe I could fudge it with like an oak sapling instead. Let's see how that looks. I wish you could craft dead bushes. But this might work too. It's not my favorite, but it kind of does the job, you know? Kind of does the job. All right, I'm going to put those away for now. And then I'm going to grab a couple of these saplings to decorate with. Ooh, glowberries are nice too, actually. So I think the azalea could go here. Maybe we could get some glowberries here as well for some extra lighting. We just need to make sure we shear them uh, when they reach a length that we're comfortable with. And then we need to figure out something in this frame. Maybe honestly, just like a spruce tree. It's kind of the theme for today, you know? Spruce. I think that's looking good. Cool. All right, well, it looks like we pretty much have everything in place. Maybe a couple more paintings, but I also want to get some carpet down. Maybe just white carpet is fine. Then we can use our last piece on some more paintings. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Boom. 
No, I refuse to even put the creeper painting up today. Not today. <laughs> it's a reminder. Just a, a dark reminder of what had happened. Come on, give me a good one. Stop. Stop giving me the creeper. No, oh, it's stuck now. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. Change of plans, because this is being very rude at the moment. We're going to do just a regular old frame there. Get the light back. And then maybe we can get shear one more sheep to get one more design. And then that's it. I'm going to start putting away all of the wood-related stuff in there. Just to clear our inventory a bit. And all of this stuff, I'm like, do I even need it? I ended up not even using those azalea leaves. And honestly, I don't really think that this build necessarily needs it. If I'm honest. I think it's looking really good. I'm just going to take this stuff and maybe some of this stuff. I feel bad letting all of it despawn. Because some of it, I'm like, it's valuable, even though, like, we're technically done with the build. I'm like, I can't seem to get rid of it. The only thing I really want to get uh, get before we finish this is our, um, I want to shear a couple more sheep. Just so we can get a couple more paintings. But other than that, we're pretty much done. I think it's looking super cute. I really like it. Sun's on it right now, but... I think it's a very, very cute build. I would love to build in this style again, honestly. I think it looks super cute. Oh no, I accidentally grabbed it. It's fine. It is fine. I will just put it in here. Nobody has to know except you know because you're watching this right now. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All we really need to do is shear some sheep and we're good to go. Can't sleep yet. I'm going to bring my bed. So I'm not worried about that. All right. Let's go get our final thing for this build and then we're good to go. Nice. The sheep have grown all of their wool back, so we won't have any issues. Let's just grab them all. Two. And three. Perfect. We've got seven. That's more than enough because we just need it for a couple of paintings. And that's it. Pretty much done this build. I'm <laughs> I'm almost sad this is like coming to an end because I really enjoy uh I really enjoy this palette. It's so nice. So I'm like, ah, oh, I just wish I almost had more to do. Like I almost wish I built this bigger. I think that I actually genuinely think the shape is perfect. Like everything fits together so nicely that I'm happy that it is this small. However, I just wish I could build another one or something. But hey, maybe that means we uh, we do another one of these. I still uh, stand by the fact that I really think a whole entire village with this theme would look very nice. Whether I do that in a long play or in another world, it's kind of going to be resting at the back of my mind now, I think. All right, let's remove this guy really quickly so I can just pop that here. We can get another painting. That's different than this one. Where do we put it? This one, right? Yes, they're different. Perfect. All right, well, I delayed it as much as I could, but I actually think that we are done with this build. Wild, which is perfect timing because the sun is rising. So we can actually take a proper look at it. So let's, you know, do a little walk around. 
Let's first zoom out with the free cam because we can get the best look at it with free cam. Here it is. This is it. It's all done. I think it looks so cute. Oh my gosh. I love the palette so much. Oh, I'm so sad it's coming to an end. It's okay. We'll build something like this again. I think this really did blend into the landscape perfectly though with all the little shrubs and stuff around it. I think it turned out very, very nice. I'm really happy that we... uh Kept it kind of simple this time. I didn't even add too much for the pathing and stuff. I just didn't really think it needed it, to be honest. I don't know. I really like this biome and how rustic it looks and just like very like um, mossy and worn in. Not mossy, grassy. I would say it's grassy instead. But I think this turned out perfect. Even looks like really cool, kind of like far away as well. I just think it really blends into the landscape very very nicely super super happy with it all right let's take a quick little look so got our little entryway of course a little window with a, a light poking through i really like all of the um the trims that we did on the rooftops i think making it look giving it that like viking aesthetic i guess i don't know what it's called if you know what it's called let me know in the comments because i just keep calling it viking aesthetic but I think it really kind of made the build. I actually feel as though if we did not incorporate these, it would have a completely different vibe to it, which isn't necessarily bad, but I think that was my favorite thing that I had like learned today while doing this long play. So we've got um, a lean-to over here, got some fencing for some lighting, just like a couple extra shrubs. This side, I really didn't think it needed much. So I kept it nice and simple. I really like that we tied in um, the deep slate into the other parts of the build too. I also like that um, usually with like building, art, anything, there's kind of like the rule of threes. I mean, there's the rule of thirds in photography too, which is a little bit different, but there's a rule of threes where everything looks really good in, uh, in threes. So I kind of like that I unintentionally did trim, chimney, and then the walls here to tie into the tower. So it looks very balanced, I find. I think the whole build, it, even though it's really tiny, it just has a lot of detail packed into it, and I'm really happy about that. Inside, we kept it nice and simple. Uh, just did like a little storage area. There's not much you can do with such a small space. That's always the challenge of really small builds, uh, is trying to like kind of divide them up so they're still kind of functional, but I think I did a good job of it. We've got a little workstation, we have a place to smelt some stuff. Like, this is very starter home, and it d still does work. Like, in the end, we got some storage for stuff. You may not be able to live in this forever, but you've got the essentials. And most importantly, you have a place to sleep at night with some extra storage and stuff like that. Let's shear this really quickly. Kind of forgot to. Perfect. And yeah, tons of storage. Surprisingly, a big amount of room, considering we actually walled off half of the build. And because we walled it off, we have two very different spaces, which is what I like about it. I do like doing open concept type builds as well, but having designated rooms, especially in small spaces, can be quite a challenge. So it was really fun, and I think we did a good job of it. All right, so I think with all of that, we're pretty much done this long play today. I hope you all enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the adventures, uh, even though a creeper kind of like crashed the party today, almost more than once too. <laughs> I hope despite uh, some of the, the jump scares we had that it was still kind of like a fun, relaxing and just chill thing for you all to watch. So with that, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, I'm looking forward to making the next one for you all and I will see you all then. Bye.